My name is Peter Rivera. I'm 69 years old, and I've been coming to the Senior Center for the past three years. My name is Mary Yuan. I am 68. I have been coming to the Henry Street Senior Center for the past 10 years. My name is Joseph Jennings. I've been coming to the Senior Center since 2002. My name is Dalia Lopez. Uh, they, know, they call me Sheila, and I've been coming here for five years now. And I'm going to be 67 years old soon. My name is Providencia Rosario. I almost got 89 years old. I was coming here at the Senior Center for almost 30 years. My name is Basilisa Reggio. I'm 76 years old, and I've been coming to the Senior Center for seven and a half years. My name is Joan Hightower Clanton. My age is 66 young. I've been coming to the Senior Center um, since I was 55. My name is Margaret L. Dosuki. I'm 76 years old, and I've been coming to the Senior Center for the last 12 years. Well, we have salsa dancing, we have ballroom dancing, tango, belly dancing. I usually like to do either jewelry. I like to do jewelry. I love to dance. I like to eat here. I also like the trips. My main thing is gym. I love the gym. Uh, I go on trips. My favorite trips are usually museums. I like museums. The bingo player because I enjoy the bingo. That was the one of the best. We run a um, sewing class here, sewing, and she's very, very handy with her quilting as well as sewing and doll making. And also I, I sing at the karaoke. That's right. I'm the best. Según tu punto de vista, yo soy la mala. Te llevo de la mano, corazón, y ahí nos vamos. ¡Ope, ope! I love playing pool. It's enjoyable. I pass the time very happy. I also like to call the bingo. It keeps me entertained, and I see other people are very, they're, they're happy. As long as they're happy as a senior center, I'm happy too monthly birthday dances. We also have dances for holidays. We just had a dance last week to uh, bring in winter. Oh, and for Christmas, we have the fur tree company. That is fantastic. They give us a, a dance every Christmas, and we all get dressed up, and we go to the dance. I come from Monday to Friday. I come in the morning around 10, and I leave maybe like around 1, 1 1.30, except when we have karaoke, then I'm here until almost 6 o'clock. We come five days a week. Five days a week six days a week. We're closed on Saturday. I'm always here, but I guess if I'm here, I must like it. When I retired, my sister-in-law told me, let's join the center. I said, nah, because I was kind of down, really. I was in a dark tunnel. And when she insisted, I came. And I started talking to, to the uh, social workers that were here. They were very, very helpful. And they helped me see the light at the end of the tunnel. And when I came here, I saw the other way, the other half, how you live, how you're supposed to live. So I made friends, I made a lot of friends here. And I, always, I also like to, to help people. I feel good when I help people. I walk in the street and if somebody smiles at me, I, I, that's a fantastic day. Well, you see, when I came here uh, in 2002, I was a diabetic. And uh, I used to take insulin and, and much of formin pills. And I don't like needles. I came every day to the gym because I no longer wanted to take needles and I changed my diet. So by 2004, I was no longer taking insulin. So I didn't have many friends left in the community. I grew up here, but most moved away. So I just started branching out and that's how I met her here through one person. Then she had some friends and then we kind of click. Now we're not always happy together, but we respect each other. And the other members, we all respect each other and we respect our, our ideas. Give me a place to go to, mm -hmm. you know? Especially ladies that they're alone in their apartments, they don't have no one to visit them or anything like that. There's a lot of friends here, they all stick together. Mm -hmm. There's three or four that sits in the same table they win the same games, right, every day. And they're very good friends, they're very close. I also was able to, let's say the word payback, I also been able to contribute to the well-being 
of the members here as much as I can. You know, uh, so I find it very fulfilling. My whole goal is to give back, and that's what I'm doing in the community. It's allowed me to become more open and more sociable. I was kind of very quiet prior to coming here, so I've become a lot more open and vocal. She's very outgoing and very talkative, and I'm very kind of laid back and not as outgoing. So she wants you to believe. It's true. I'm telling you, she just wants you to believe that. When I find somebody the outside, I, ask, I say to them, listen, we got a play for all the senior people. You don't need to sit down here in the band by yourself. Sometimes I speak Spanish, I don't speak English. They say, you don't need English there. Because there are people who speak Spanish, can help you. Breakfast, they got lunch, and they got dinner. You don't need to cook if you don't want. If you don't have the money, you don't need to pay nothing if you don't have the money. Just to sign and eat. That's what I tell them. If, if I'm sitting down doing nothing, also the body cries out for activity. <laughs> so so, so you, have to, you have to do something. There's a sign in here. Movement is medicine. You think about that. Movement is medicine. You have to move. You can't, you can't just, just sit and do nothing. You don't have to uh, lift a whole lot of heavy things, but you got to move. We do have workshops on mental health. We have a workshop on how to take care of ourselves. We have workshops on, on how to defend ourselves because the policemen, the officers come here and give us workshops also. And the nurse, the nurse also gives us workshops. So I will tell them, come, come to the center and, and, and you, you will see that it's good for your health, it's good for you mentally and socially. It also gives me a voice. I mean, I can say to the director, you know, what I like and what I don't like. So it's, it's allowed me to become a lot more open. She, she forced me to go, right? So when I went, I thought it was maybe a, a little square room, little people, you know, like boring. I said, wait a minute, this place is big. You know, I said, whoa. So I go on the first floor, then I go downstairs because they got a weightlifting room downstairs. I really like the pool too. Yeah, then I said, wait, this is, this is very interesting. I don't think I'm going to get bored here. Like I said, it's like a family. You know, you get to, you've seen these same people, you know, you walk around and see, like me, a lot of people, I don't, I don't remember their names. I know their faces. And, and when I'm walking in the street, I say, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? They remember my name. How you doing, Joseph? But over here, it's like a family. Everybody's friendly. Everybody's friendly. From the staff, to the cook, to the person who cleans, they all know our names. They're all very friendly with us. And, and, and the, the seniors themselves, we're all very friendly. In this center, we all interact with each other. I know the staff here have uh, always been excellent. The staff here, so I just get to know them. I think they're very dedicated, they're very caring. They, they really hire some very good um, instructors. They also have volunteers who teaches are also excellent caliber. In this, in this senior center, we care about our, our fellow- All the seniors. Our, all the seniors, we do. The and if they're not center. here like a three or four days, they haven't come, we call up. And what happened, you okay or you sick? They got a good staff to talk to them. And then the staff that I got, you talk to them and they explain you. They got people who speak Spanish, they got people who speak Chinese, and the people who speak English. Any, any, anything you can say to them. This is like a house for the people. It's good that a lot of people don't have to cook because they can come <laughs> here and eat. Uh, and it's a very friendly group of people here. So, it, you know, if they come, people sort of embrace each other. If they need help because, you know, for whatever reason they may be a little sad or maybe getting a little depressed or not sure what they want to do or where they want to be, they have social workers here that will assist them, guide them, and help them along the way as they find out what they, 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 where they want to be out in their lives. So that's a major plus. And as she did say, they can come and say, you won't be sitting by yourself for long. I can guarantee you that. People here, we talk to you. What's the matter? We want you to be happy. 
We want everybody to enjoy. I get the bugs. I hug everyone. Mm -hmm. That's what they like me, most of them, you know? Mm -hmm. They're very nice She's people. She's a big hugger. She likes to hug them. Yeah. The thing about it, none of this is, is prepped. None of this, this is all natural. This is all what people in their heart are feeling. They're just giving to each other. And that's really where I get my joy from. Seeing other people happy makes me extremely happy. There's constant things to learn here, and that's the part I like most. Having a place to go where you can actually do something. Um, all this is what's keeping us young seniors. Thank you, Henry Tixerman, for everything I do for, our, for the senior people. Thank you for everything. Everybody gets treated almost like family, really. When you treat them like family, they welcome back, and they usually come back. At times they're just visitors, that they just come for one time, and then they come back again because they were treated very special, you know? And they got the perfect name, good companion. That's where we are. Yeah. Very good companion to everybody.